at 10 tonight, the Fayette County community comes together to remember two high school students who died this week from a possible drug overdose. A balloon release you see there was held at Fayette Ware NBC High School NBC tonight NBC. in their honor. It happened hours after another teen was arrested and charged in their deaths. WRG's Jordan James has the latest on the investigation. For many in Fayette County, it has been a difficult week. We all lose when things like that happen. On Tuesday, three students suffered a possible overdose after allegedly taking fentanyl, which resulted in two of them dying. This obviously was a terrible, terrible event. Then on Thursday, the Fayette County District Attorney's Office announced the lone survivor has been charged with two counts of second degree murder and one count of possession of a controlled substance. To lose children like this, it's safe to say the law enforcement was very motivated to, um, to put all their assets on the case. It was plus I asked the TBI to assist the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. WRE G was in the courtroom for a detention hearing where a judge decided that it would be best for the girl to be released into the custody of relatives under the condition that she's put on house arrest and adhere to regular drug screenings. If she can maintain and go through this testing, she'd be all right. You know, because trouble, you know, it don't last always. A reality that has left a community mourning the loss of the teens and reeling from the impact that this has had. It's bad that our young folks is, is leaving as well. It don't take but one day, and then the next day we're gone. Investigators say fentanyl was found at the scene. An autopsy will tell how the two girls died.